Hey, what's up, guys? Anshul here from Alpha Code. So we are continuing with our crash course about mastering the art of designing microservices architecture. And today we'll be starting a new topic that is implementing domain-driven design. So we have been through domain-driven design and we have learned about strategic design and tactical design. So today we'll be talking about event storming. Uh, keep in mind this is event storming and not event sourcing which is also a part of domain driven design that is event sourcing and CQRS if you read that somewhere that is something else although not entirely different but it is not event storming per se so let's get into it so implementing domain driven design is a book but uh, as you know domain driven design is getting popular day by day so there was a book written by person called Vaughn Vernon and it is becoming very popular in recent days and it's relatively new so it was published in 2013 and there was a next version to this book as well DDD distilled also by Vaughn Vernon and it doesn't add anything extra to the DDD world but it adds good examples and shows you how you can implement domain driven design and how you can start thinking in DDD paradigm. I love this quote. Building a software is a learning process. Working code is just a side effect. That means when you are developing a software, you are just learning the domain and your ability of developing a good software often drills down to how well you understand the domain. You are just understanding the domain by writing the code. Right. So first tell me this. Suppose I come from an e-commerce domain and I'll tell you a few things. How will you start discussing your understanding of the domain with me? Me being the domain expert here. So in old days, we used to discuss using use case diagrams or we used to use activity diagrams, maybe sequence diagrams or, or maybe <laughs> ER diagrams. I don't know if someone uses this sort of thing these days to discuss domains to domain experts you might use this in your internal developer meetings but i don't think anyone uses this uh, while discussing the domain with domain expert so all of these are very old ways to discuss the domains with domain expert if you want to fetch maximum information out of domain expert if you want to engage them to tell you more about the domain i don't think any of these methods will work so what else do you have the answer is event storming. So what is event storming? It's an exercise for creating domain models for strategic design. So we talked about strategic design. You have a domain, you have subdomains, and then you have domain model for each subdomain. How will you create that domain model? So you run an event storming session as a workshop and everyone participates and the, there's a facilitator and the facilitator will keep the group focused and engaged and guiding them towards a complete model of the domain. It's becoming very popular in, in recent times. And in simple words, it is just a brainstorming workshop among domain experts and technology experts, basically the people who understand the events in a system. So it is aimed to achieve a common understanding of the domain uh, in which the software must operate. So how does event storming work? Whatever I'm going to tell you here is just an overview of event storming. This is by no means a complete session on event storming. I'll give you some excellent resources where you can read more about it if you are going to perform an event storming session in your recent future. So how does it work? So first you bring the right people in. What are right people? Right people means domain experts and technical experts. We need both kind of people who can ask the right questions and who can answer those questions, right? So bring the right people in and then take some sticky notes and then color code them. Some to event, some to command, to aggregate, to user role, to view, to policy. And you don't need to go into too much detail in what a policy is right now. But just to give you an example, an event is that something has happened in your system and all of the technical experts and domain experts will have a mutual understanding about the event that has happened and generally all of these terms 
will constitute your ubiquitous language. So after you have color coded the sticky notes, take a whiteboard and start writing interesting events in sequence. And as the workshop is known as event storming, everything is focused on events. You will take a whiteboard and start writing interesting events in sequence. That means stock order was accepted, stock price was changed, stock holders were notified. Or maybe in e-commerce domain, you will have items were browsed, then items were purchased, items were shipped, items were delivered. So as you can see, all of these events are in past tense. Event means that has already happened. It has nothing to do with future. And something that creates that event might be another event or might be some command. So you need to start adding commands, aggregates and policies as a next step to your events. After you are done with the first pass, you need to start finding your bounded context. Suppose this looks like a separate domain. So this might be your catalog domain and this is your payments domain. This is your delivery domain. So let us see what a real life example of event storming looks like. So you must be thinking I was just giving you something that was, you know, very unique. But if you go to Google and search for event storming and look at the images there, you'll find all of this stuff. That means this technique is very well tested. And according to Von Vernon, this works 100% of the time. You just need to give it a try. So I will link some excellent resources about event storming in the description and maybe about event sourcing and CQRS as well. If you are interested as of now, let's see in the next part how domain driven design is implemented inside the code. This was maybe a bit theoretical, uh, maybe for architects and managers, but let's see how it looks like in the code.